Good evening. Due to industrial action until half past midnight this evening by the BBC broadcasting units in the northeast, there will be no normal look north. Instead, the regional headlines. Managers of the Royal Victoria Infirmary in Newcastle have unveiled a £25 million development scheme to include a luxury hotel and conference centre in the hospital grounds. The scheme, funded by the private sector, will also include accommodation for nurses and a 60-bed wing to serve both private and NHS patients. Bailiffs moved in today to close the Animal Rescue Centre at Prestwick Car Farm near Newcastle. Terry Peterson, who has run the sanctuary for a year, was evicted because the lease on the farm has run out and the owner wants to sell the property. RSPCA officials will take care of the animals until they can be found new homes. One man died and three others were injured when a car left the A19 and crashed down an embankment in Cleveland early today. It happened just north of Hartlepool. So far, the men involved haven't been named. Newcastle United is seeking permission from the City Council to show sporting events on giant screens to be erected at the Lees's end of St James Park. In particular, United's major away games could be screened. A team of northeast canoeists became the first Westerners to paddle the 55 miles across the Bering Strait between Alaska and Siberia. They had been fierce for their safety after nothing was heard from them for a week. But now they've turned up safe in Siberia and are expected back on Teesside sometime next week. The weekend weather forecast for the northeast: it will be a mild night, and tomorrow, after a rather dull start, there will again be sunny intervals. The maximum temperature will be 22 Celsius, that's about 72 Fahrenheit, and winds will be light. The sunny spends will continue on Sunday, and if anything, it will be a fraction milder. And now for the national weather forecast, over to John Ketley. Good evening to you. Well, dry weather abounds this weekend and plenty of warm sunshine to go with that dry weather as well. It's been pretty good today in some parts of the country. If you were following the golf at Glen Eagles earlier in the day, you'll have seen clear blue skies there and temperatures of Dundee of 24 degrees up into the mid-70s Fahrenheit. Similarly, at Plymouth, with shelter from Bodmin Moor, the temperature again up to about 23 degrees. A large area of high pressure to thank for this good weather. That's out in the west of Europe there. This weather front coming across at the moment is very, very weak indeed, but it is introducing more humid conditions from the northwest. So a much muggier day it's going to be tomorrow. And that's how the weather chart's going to draw up the high pressure anchored firmly to the west of Ireland. Well, this evening, plenty of sunshine to end the day, but there are the odd pockets of drizzle up in the far north of Scotland, a little bit coming across Ireland as well and sinking down through the Irish Sea. And that's going to continue through the night. A little bit of rain turning up, running down that uh, North Sea as well. But further patches of drizzle and rain just hooking onto those western coasts and hills where it'll turn rather misty. Some fog patches developing later in the night and some fog patches too up there around the Northern Isles. Right in the south here, it's going to stay fairly clear for much of the night, but one or two mist patches turning up in more rural parts late on, but that's soon clearing away tomorrow. Temperatures tonight holding up very well. In fact, it's going to be quite a warm and humid night, especially in the west here, something like 14. That's 57 degrees Fahrenheit. A bit of a breeze turning up in the north of Scotland. Tomorrow, then, not too much sunshine around first thing. There will be some in these more southern counties of England, perhaps a little bit over in southern Ireland and sheltered eastern parts of uh, southeast Scotland and northeast England, but elsewhere, rather a grey start. Still some patches of drizzle about and rather foggy on some of these western coasts here, but gradually through the day, you will find this sun winning the battle. So most places brightening up, and through the afternoon, many places should see at least a little bit of sunshine, but the most abundant sunshine is likely to be in these more sheltered southern parts. Perhaps turning a little bit fresher up in the northeast of Scotland there, one or two showers coming through into the Northern Isles, but up in the northwest of Scotland, it's likely to stay grey and cool for much of the day, about 15 or 16 degrees there, but a muggy 23 to 25 down in the south, and that's it. Tonight, Omnibus presents a tribute to Sir Lawrence Olivier. In a special programme, friends and colleagues will be reminiscing and paying tribute to the greatest actor of this century and the man who helped to shape British theatre over the last 50 years. Included in the programme will be a screening of Henry V, one of his most celebrated films. Sir Lawrence Olivier, a tribute tonight at 9.30 on BBC One. 